Guys, I'm a little bit ashamed to show you the state of my son's closet. However, I am in the midst of organizing it and I just wanted to show you a before. So this is where I hang all his clothes. I actually put up his um the seasons that he's not in right now because uh, this is pretty much full of whatever season it is he has an abundance of everything and it looks like he has been changing his own clothes because I can see that they've been sort of getting pulled off as you can see but anyway so it's getting hot this stuff from here on is going to be transitioning to the drawers here and then it's just going to all be short sleeve shirts and then shorts which i have in this drawer but anyway so that's not what i'm really working on today what i'm really working on today is this part the up part as you can see i had this up there and i had baby stuff in there that i'm getting away this was his baby bag it's a coach bag I had that and then all of this was things I wanted to keep but I no longer want to and then just all this eyes and ends trash just eggs and all that stuff so I'm getting rid of that this is what I usually have his Christmas decor in I'm getting rid of that not getting rid of it but I'm just going to streamline it where I'm putting it all in one thing here's some puzzles that I got to get rid of this is a lamp that used to be in his playroom before we moved here and he no longer has a playroom so I don't know what I'm doing with that I don't know if I'm even gonna keep it I might give it away to someone this was a nightlight that he's too young for to be honest and these are games that he has but he really doesn't play with when I was a scrapbooking instructor that was my scrapbooking like stroller caddy rolling bag or whatever and I'm thinking about giving that away and then just this stuff is what I have left of his baby stuff. This was mine. And then all of these things that I kind of want to keep for sentimentals. But I'm going to the Dollar Tree and getting the ones that you can't see holes in, like the bucket looking ones. And I'm kind of going to roll it up here and kind of hide some of this stuff. These two bins are from the Dollar Tree, but they're just with pant hangers. And to be honest, I don't need that many. So I'm going to probably get rid of those. So, um... And then these back here, these clothes back here, these are what I'm going to consign. So I'm going to put it in a bucket up here to get out of sight. So it's just a lot of stuff that I want to get rid of, want to straighten up, and want to do. As you can see, this is a pretty nice size walk-in closet because I have his dresser in here. So um, yeah, I got to get this done. So I just wanted to show you before and I will show you an after shortly and here is the after excuse me for the background my son is in here with TV and the computer on so what I did is I cleared out everything that was on the top of here and I confined it in the um, Dollar Tree bins that I purchased so I actually have a total of one two three four back here is five six seven okay his games are still in this storage bin um i believe that is a empty box baby blanket that i couldn't find a place for um a spare lamp um resin it or re when is it renews it there we go when it renews it um and then i got had labels and i had chalkboard pens i don't like the chalkboard pens that I got from Target. That's what it is. So this one, this one holds hangers, like um, I can show you really quick. Just pant hangers. I don't know why I held on to them, but they come very useful. These are keepsakes for when he was a little boy. This is also keepsakes. This is a consign bin. This is a consign bin, and this is a consign bin. And then this one back here, I did not label. And to be honest, I can't even remember, sorry guys, I can't even remember what that was. But this gives me an idea of how much I can actually um, keep of things. I actually um, minimized his keepsake bin and I uh, will show you that in a second. And here I just have his vest long sleeves that I'm going to put up shortly and his short sleeves and his jeans. 
his shoes usually goes here at the top and then um, I'm in the middle of washing but this is where his like wife beater type tank top goes his short sleeves and his underwear and I also got these bins from the Dollar Tree and then over here I have long sports socks pajamas I've, I've cleared out his pajamas he can only I only cleared like I was having pajamas that were way too small but I went ahead and just really minimize what he had because I really need to give him new ones but I'm not I haven't at the moment so this is the only area that pajamas can go in because we just don't need that many so long socks short socks and then down here are his summer shorts that I have not yet done and his long white socks here are his um uh I need to get rid of this one um, his washcloths and his hooded towels I think this is a spare beach towel this is a traveling um, if you've seen my what's in his travel suitcase or whatever and I can link that below um, of what's in here and then these are all of his spare medicines um, toothpaste travel toothpaste thermometer and band-aids I just kind of keep them all in here and put that on top and then these are all spare washcloths here. And I still use the um, Babies R Us brand because um, he's still little. And I have Pottery Barn kids. But look how big these are, guys. He's still too little for that. I don't even like having big washcloths like that. And they absorb the soap. So, um, yeah. I still use the Babies R Us basic washcloths for him anyway and then down here i have his swim trunks his swim shoes his flip-flops his uh beach towels and i have some size seven boot cuts that i probably need to give away because he doesn't wear boot cuts he's too slim we wear straight and then here why is that in there he goes in here and then here are some um summer like loungewear not summer winter loungewear um and some things that he hasn't grown into yet belts and other miscellaneous scarves and stuff and here's another beach towel and just some extra down here is some extra like light bulbs and, and um night lights and things like that and then back there are some shoes that he cannot wear yet and then over here, I cleared this part out. I have a bin that quickly helps me grab some. Um, like once I use them, I would take it off and put it in this bin. And this kind of helps me with um, washing and then having some on hand because I usually use this table here to fold his clothes. This is his play clothes bin. These are just kind of like jeans that he has like put holes in and he's no longer like wearing to school. And he can still wear, but I didn't want to get rid of. So these are like his play clothes. He even has like a jacket. Um, so these things help when he wants to go outside and play, but I don't want him to wear his school clothes. So he knows that when he wants something, depending on if it's hot or if it's cold, to use this bin for that. And then these are his spare um, hangers. So, um, and then here is just a drawer with like odds and ends of things that he has. And then his suitcase is nestled in that area. And he has his robe here. And then I keep like his swim bag here for when he goes swimming in the summer um, and like camp. And then his um, swim vest. And so, yeah, this is his after closet tour and I want to show you guys before the closet tour this is what I had in here and this big bin right here is what I had his keepsakes in and I had to really 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 like talk to myself and say what is worth keeping and what is not because I you know if I did have another child some of that stuff I just know I won't wear again and then these are the bins guys look how many bins that is that I was able to give up and get rid of because of um, not not having to you know need the things in it or just getting rid of stuff so once again this is the after I like the way it turned out as you can see I have so much room 
that I probably will not use anytime soon. But this is a fairly big closet. I mean, I could put his dresser in here and still have a lot of room. So this is a fairly big closet for him. But there's the after. Hope you uh, enjoyed and I will see you guys soon. Bye.